first I want to give uh, praise and thanks to God for the gift of life and the opportunity uh, to grow and uh, experience His love and grace. Um, served as a student pastor beginning in 1974 and up until this year. Um, thankful for the appointments I've been able to serve and uh, for, the, for the gift of clergy friends and laity uh, who've been a blessing to my life and helped me grow and I hope I've been a blessing to them. I guess what I would really want to say most of all is a song that uh, remember being very special then and now was a song by Andre Crouch called My Tribute. It says, how can I say thanks for all the things you've done for me? So many different ways you've proved your love to me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am and all that I ever hope to be, I owe to God. Thanks be to God. It's been my good fortune to have the opportunity to serve uh, within the bounds of the Kentucky Annual Conference since 1980. First at Somerset First United Methodist Church, and for 25 years at the Emanuel United Methodist Church in Northern Kentucky. The past six years, I've been on incapacity leave. It's been a pleasure to serve on district and conference teams during much of that time. Today, my prayer for you is that you will join with me in continuing on the theme of this old gospel song. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. In 1957, my father was appointed to the Jackson Methodist Church. His district superintendent gave him this admonition. Virgil, he said, just go and love those people. Over the course of 39 years in six churches in three different districts, I've tried to follow that admonition, just go and love the people. I'm grateful to God who has called uh, me and enabled me. I'm grateful to grandparents that supported me, a mom and dad who mentored for me, the life of Christ. I'm very grateful for a wife and children who followed me and journeyed with me, and to all those people in churches and districts who became more than just parishioners and leaders. Now we enter into full grandma and grandpa hood. Ellen and I are going to be grateful to do that with our only grandchild, Ella Grace Harlan. Ella, get your coat. We're going to go to Culver's for some ice cream. Greetings, Kentucky Annual Conference. I'm Alvin R. Goodwin. I can't believe I'm retiring. 39 years in the ministry, 35 of those as ordained. Coming from the Tennessee Conference to the Kentucky Conference, I've been grateful to serve various appointments in this conference. And for my family that have traveled up and down the highways with me as well. Just reminded about how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news, glad tidings, and good things to those. I will continue to do so as well while I'm on God's journey. Thank you again. May God bless you and keep you. First, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for salvation and His call on my, wife, my life. Then I'd like to thank my wife, Joan, uh, of 46 years of marriage, of staying with me through thick and thin. She's been my greatest cheerleader, encourager, and criticizer. But her criticism has come uh, with great love and has made me a better person and a better pastor, I believe. Uh, I also like to thank all the churches uh, that I've been allowed to serve, especially the early churches. Uh, I served as a student pastor. They loved me in spite of myself, and they thought of their ministry to the church was to encourage young pastors, the next generation of pastoral leadership in the conference. Thank you. First, I want to say thank you to my family, my wife Vicki and my two sons, Matt and Jason. We've been on many great adventures and thank you. Thanks to the churches I serve for blessing me with a gift of trust and fellowship. I greatly appreciate the superintendents that encouraged me and my friends all over Kentucky, thank you. And thank you to all who gave me grace when I needed it. I'm grateful to have served and now I'm grateful to rest. And uh, after some rest, I'll serve a while longer. 
So thank you, Father in heaven, and thank you, Lord Jesus and Holy Spirit, for love, presence, grace, power, and thank you all for cheering me on. Thank you.